Hi, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how the BBC's deal with Disney Plus for Doctor Who pretty much saved the show. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So in May, the brand new series of Doctor Who is going to be coming to Disney Plus around the world in addition to arriving here in the UK on iPlayer and BBC One. Now this is a continuation and a kind of a reboot of a 60 year old British show. Recently we've had the 60th anniversary specials they were put on Disney Plus back in November. We then saw the brand new Doctor take over Shidigatwa at the Christmas special, which were, again, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great, and I also enjoyed the 60 ones, but I've been a big fan of Doctor Who since I was like a kid, because my dad always liked it. And so, it was always this big, big question of back in 2022 when Disney did this deal with the BBC, because, you know, a lot of people, obviously, you know, are fans of the show, maybe didn't want Disney involved in it. And also, in some ways, it didn't really match up sometimes with what Disney does, with like wanting to merchandise stuff and put things in theme parks. And it was a bit of a weird one. And I don't know if like if this deal came up today whether or not Disney would even go for it But the important thing right now is that sort of Doctor Who is pretty much secure for a few years because of this deal And according to the showrunner Russell T Davis He thinks we're going to be seeing a lot more of this from the BBC in the future While speaking on the Day Like to Watch podcast He spoke about how the BBC is going to need to do more projects like Doctor Who with this funding method Because here in the UK, the license fee costs about £169 a year, which is about $214. And all British households are required to pay it if they use BBC services or if they watch live broadcasting. And it's coming under much more scrutiny as entertainment changes. And Russell feels that the BBC is somehow, surely, undoubtedly on its way out in some shape or form. I'd already said in interviews that I think Doctor Who will have to become a copron. There's no way the BBC is going to fund that. You're also going to have to look at the long term at the end of the BBC, which is somehow, surely, undoubtedly on its way in some shape or form. What is Doctor Who going to do then? You have to prepare for that. The BBC is under a lot more stress to be much more strict on how much money it's spending. Simply put, it's not getting in as much money as it used to when it used to charge every household and if you didn't pay, you could get a criminal record. I mean, they would take people to court, but things have changed over the years and people's views on the BBC have drastically changed because it was that kind of thing of they were the first broadcasting network here in the UK and we kind of got used to it. But with things like Netflix and Sky and stuff coming along, you know, where you have the choice, you know, if you don't want to watch BBC One, you don't have to pay for it. But at the minute, if you watch anything live, including if it's on YouTube or anything like that, we have to pay for it. So the BBC is under incredible stress to kind of update its model. The politicians and stuff are all looking at ways of changing it. I know a lot of people still like the way the BBC runs, but... There's also a lot of people that go, I don't want to, I don't watch it, so why should I have to pay for it? And I think, you know, the world has changed. And definitely the BBC is going to have to adapt with that. But this deal that we've seen with Doctor Who and the BBC is something I think we're going to see more of. But whether or not all the studios want to get on this, I mean, there are advantages as well from the studio's point of view to getting content made here, like here in the UK, which helps towards the European quota. So that helps. And it's obviously going to be a little bit cheaper with them co doing this kind of stuff. But with global licensing issues, that's going to be an issue. BBC has teamed up with Disney in the past for some FX shows. We've also teamed up with HBO for His Darkest Materials, which I thought was a quite cool good little series. But the BBC is going to have to make some changes because ultimately they can't afford to be making massive, great, big Doctor Who shows. And also Russell did say, you know, without that injection of cash from Disney, this show just wouldn't look the same. It wouldn't kind of be on par with like The Mandalorian or Stranger Things in terms of special effects. You know, it'd be drastically cut back. But in the future of Doctor Who, what would happen if the BBC was to be gone? I mean, at the minute, the license fee is kind of locked in for a few more years. But things are changing. I don't know necessarily if the BBC is still going to be around in the same way it is right now. They are scaling back and I'm going to have to make changes. Personally, I think one of those big ones that they should do is if you want to get on the iPlayer, you kind of need to um, log in with your your TV license. I think that would be something that they should kind of be enforcing. That's my own personal view. A bit harder with trying to enforce on watching BBC One, but you know, if you're using the online system, you kind of should, in some ways, like you would be with Netflix or Disney Plus or anything else, that you'd have to have to be paying to get in there. But that's my only thing. And I say that as someone who actually really enjoys the BBC content and I would subscribe to it if it was available because, yeah, I like it. I think it's it's worthwhile to what I watch, but I'm a little bit older. But nevertheless, I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.